What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom and God bless our veterans. Alright guys, so today I have gotten a request from one of my subscribers. It's been asking me for quite a bit now about this. Today I'm going to show you how to install multiple vehicles. Okay, so I found a car pack which is in the link below. I mean in the description below. I always say that backwards. The link is in the description below. This is called the Sheriff's, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Police Pack. It's the 2.0. It's made by Sterling Nine Silver. We're gonna give him credit on that. Um, so go ahead and click that link down there. It's gonna bring you to this page right here. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Police Pack 2.0. All right. So as you can see, it's got some pretty nice vehicles. And if you guys want to take a look at these screenshots, you're more than welcome to. Um, but it's got some nice cars in it. I thought they were pretty nice. Um, yeah, you know, it's just a classic. There's your uh, Chevy Impala, it looks like. Um, so it is very, very nice. It's a very nice pack. So anyway, let's close out of that. Let's get right to it. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why my screen bounces all the way down like that when I check screenshots. It's weird. You guys can watch this if you want to. It shows you all about it. gives you a showcasing of it, which I'm going to do that myself. Uh, we will be going into game, okay? So um, go ahead and click that green download button. This is download this file right there, okay? I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to lead you guys through it and show y'all how to do this. So if y'all need to, you can just pause the video and come back to it when your download is done, because it, it does take a minute. Uh, click save here on uh, to put it in your downloads folder, or click save as to save it where uh, to a spot of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that and close out of this. And assuming you guys have already got it downloaded and pause the video and come back, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, guys. So this, uh, go ahead and um, if you got on your desktop, which is where it should be at, go ahead and double click that um, the uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Police Pack. And it's going to pull this up right here. Now, the way these files look, guys, is we have a police, police three, police four and a sheriff to install okay now the way these packs are and we're gonna have to kind of go back and forth with these files and open IV so we click that Chevy Impala see how they kind of are here it's got this and we got to come back and install the XML okay so we'll we'll install all these first and then we'll come back and do the XMLs all right or we might do it vice versa we might just do this then XML another one XML you know what I mean guys we'll figure it out anyway go ahead and pull up your open IV all right, let me pull mine over here just a little bit. That was a little bit too far over. Let me get it adjusted. Mine has to be like, I got to have mine adjusted pretty perfectly because it just, I don't know, it gets on my nerves if it's not. But anyway, it's not the point. Uh, go ahead and click your edit mode, guys. And I'm going to tell you the pathway on how to install your vehicles. Now, if you've watched my tutorials before, then you should have... A spot here saved under vehicles.rpf if you have that just go ahead and click that and it'll take you right to where our installation is going to go okay if not uh, this is what you need to click okay so click mods all right and then click update then click time 64 DLC packs then we're going to go down to patch day 20 okay so click patch day 20 all right, then dlc.rpf. Okay, once you get that, click time 64. Click levels. GTA 5. And vehicles.rpf. Now, if you're a first timer in here and you don't know how we run things, this is how we do it, okay? Now, I've got a few vehicles in here, don't worry about it. I'm just going to override them anyway. If they get overwritten, oh well. Um, so anyway, uh, this is how we do it, guys. So when you get to a spot here like your installation uh, window, the best way to keep track of this in case you have to come back instead of going through the pathway is click your favorites up here and click Add to Favorites, and it'll say Vehicles.RPF, and just click Add. So if you look up here in mine, I have a few saved here. See? I have a few saved my weapons. Uh, this is for my meta files and all that. Uh, my my uh, weapon sounds. You know, it's just for different things. And like right here, this is vehicles.rps. So if I clicked that while I get it, it took me straight to here. Now, like if I click this one, the back default in GTA 5, it takes me to the XML file, straight to it. 
See that, guys? It takes me straight to it. All right. So I'm going to click that vehicles.rps. So make sure you add that, okay? All right, guys. Let's get busy on this. Double click that. That first one there, which is your Chevy Impala. And then go ahead and highlight those bottom four. Not the XML, just the YFT down. Highlight those, all right? And you're going to grab these. You're going to drag them and drop them in right here. All right, there you go. There's that one. Now, here's what we're going to do. I want you guys to go to your pack default. Now, your pathway on that is going to be... Here, I'll just tell you guys how it is. Go to ELS. If you have ELS, go to ELS. And then go to pack default. And then right here is where you're going to install your XML. So grab that XML file over here. That one right there, the police. Even if you already have one, you want to override it, okay? Drag this one and drop it in there just like that. Booyah. Okay? It's not going to make much of a difference, but it did a difference. Trust me, okay? Now, you guys want to go back to your vehicles.rpf. So, like I said, if you saved it, just go into your favorites and click vehicles.rpf, okay? Now, when you save the XML file window, it should say pack underscore default in GTA 5. So, if you click that one, it'll take you right back to the XML. However, we're going to be in vehicles.rpf, so stay right here. All right? Now, let's go back. We're going to install the next Chevy Impala. Looks like a slick top. Highlight those bottom four as the same you did like you like you did before. Grab those as police four, okay? I've got everything written down, guys. So we'll do all. We'll take care of all this in game. Grab those, drag them, and drop them right there. All right, there you go. There's your police four. Now click your favorites. Click that pack underscore default in GTA Five. Takes you right back here. If you didn't do your favorites, it's GTA 5 ELS pack default. That's your pathway right here. I would suggest you go ahead and save it because we're going to do this quite a bit in here, okay? Go ahead and grab your police4.xml. Bring it over. Drop it in. Like I said, even if you already have one, do it again just to make sure, okay? So go back in your WinRAR. Go down to your, your Ford right here. If I can get it to double click, there we go. And then back to favorites, click vehicles.rpf. See, this is why I save, save those in my favorites, guys. It's such easy access. It keeps me from going through all them pathways. It's just, it's so much easier. All right. Highlight these bottom four right here as you did before. Grab them, drag them, and drop them. Okay. Your police three is in. Okay. Go to your favorites. Go back to pack default in GTA 5. Go ahead and grab that police3.xml, bring it over, drag it, and drop it right there. Your XML files are very important. You have to have those. That's what tells your lights how to work. It tells them how to spin. tells them how to behave. It tells them what patterns to go on. It tells them how to work. It turns them on, literally. If you don't have that, it's not going to work, guys. Okay? So go uh, back to vehicles.rpf. Go back in your WinRAR. Last vehicle. Alright, now here's how we're going to do this, guys. It's a little mixed up here. If yours is like this, how you do it. Hold down your control key. Highlight that sheriff. The next one up. The next one all the way to the YFT. That's the only ones you need, guys. Hold down your control key while you do it, and it'll highlight every one of them, okay? Grab them. Drag them. Drop them. Okay? Your sheriff vehicle is in, okay? Back to favorites. Back to pack default in GTA 5. Grab that sheriff.xml, bring it over, drag it, and drop it. There it is. Okay, I think that was the last vehicle. Was it not, guys? Is that the last one? That is the last one, guys. So we are done with that. Go ahead and close out your WinRAR. Uh, get rid of that shortcut if you want to. Make sure you make a copy of that before you do so. Uh, click Edit Mode once more on your Open IV to save it. And I will see you guys inside of the game. All right, guys, so here we are inside the game, and what we're going to be doing is spawning our cars through the console key. So hit your F4. I'm going to type in spawn, hit tab to bring it up, and then type in the first one, which is police. That's going to be our first car. There's our first vehicle right there. All right. I'm going to walk over this way a little bit. 
hit the F4 key again. We're going to spawn Police 3, and that is right there. So go into that and tab it. Click Enter. There's your Police 3 vehicle. Let's walk over this way. All right, hit F4 again. Type in Spawn, hit Tab. And this time we're going to do Police 4. Okay, there's that one. Did we already do that one? Did we do that one yet? Okay, that's a different type of car, I guess. Yeah, that, okay, that's the slick top. That's the slick top version of it. All right, that's a pretty nice car pack, guys. All right, and then we got one more. Let's do this one more time. Hit spawn, tab, and we're going to do sheriff one. I believe it's sheriff one. Hit tab, tab it out. There it is. And there's your vehicle pack, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There they are. So let's get in here and try out a few of the vehicles. Um, let me make sure my ELS is on. If you guys want to know how, for those of you that don't know how to turn your ELS box the way I just did, like that, see that? You just hold down control and hit your P. It'll pause the game for a minute, but hit not, hold down control and hit P, and then back out, and there's your ELS box. See that? Stage two. And stage three. That's pretty nice, guys. That looks pretty sharp. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, yeah. Man, look at that. That computer. Got a nice glass there. A nice partition. Yeah, man. That's, that looks good. That looks really good. That looks very professional. Very realistic. All right. So let's go jump out of this one, and we'll go over here, and we'll jump in this slick top right here. All right. Stage one. That is nice, guys. That is really, really nice. Make sure our headlights are off, too, when we're doing this so we can see the whole stage. Stage two. Got some lights in the front there. Oh, and lights beside the right there on each side of the lights. Play. And stage three. There we go, guys. That looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to hold, hold on to this pack myself and do a few patrols in it. All right, so there's that car. Let's go over here and jump in this one. Stage one. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That's just stage one, guys. There's stage two. Oh, nice. Look at the license plate lights on that thing, man. Look at that, guys. That is sharp. I dig it. I dig it. And stage three. All right, we got some lights. Oh, headlights off. My bad, guys. That is very nice, very nice. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. I didn't look at the slick top. I didn't look at the inside of that slick top. That is very nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, man. That looks really good. That clear glass really sets it off. It really does. It's really nice. All right, and last but not least, we're going to check out this one right here, which is going to be about the same as that first one, I believe. Stage one. Make sure our headlights are off. Okay. That's stage one, guys. The whole light bar is stage one. Oh, it's just stage one. That's it. It's only got stage one. That is very nice, guys. Well, there you go, guys. There is your multiple car back for the one who requests. I can't remember your name. Uh, but thank you for requesting this video. Uh, for any, the, any others of you out there that might have requests for videos or tutorials or anything like that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be glad to fulfill them for you. I'll be glad to put them up as soon as I can. I'm pretty busy. I stay pretty busy between my, my wife and my four girls and my YouTube and the Discord. It keeps me pretty busy, guys. So uh, forgive me if it does take me a while to get back to you on some comments or some videos. Um, but I will do it as quick as I can, though. But guys, I'm pushing a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm at 9:11 right now, uh, so that is awesome news. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Thank you all for your membership in the Discord and your uh, loyalty to this channel. It really does mean a lot to me, guys. There is your car pack. Until next time, guys and girls. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And.
and peace out.